focusing on publicly is we're focusing on autonomous systems. And uh, clearly one purpose of autonomous systems is self-driving cars. There are others. Uh, and we sort of see it as the mother of all AI projects. Interesting things. Number one, there's, uh, there's a lot of private capital that's very anxious to invest in infrastructure. They're kind of on the sidelines right now because there are not enough projects that are ready to be financed. And secondly, there are also barriers to the private sector coming in to fund, uh, finance the uh, public infrastructure system. So Today's wireless infrastructure generally looks like a tower in a city, a couple hundred people connected to that tower at any given point in time to do the things that they're doing on their smartphones. What 5G is going to do is take that one tower, which has probably hundreds of people using it at exactly the same time, and turn that into one small node. Instead of having hundreds of people riding that same node, it's going to be 40 or 50 people riding that same node. So it's going to allow more people to do more of what they want to do at any given moment in time, which as a result creates massive infrastructure demand on cities. It's going to require more fiber in cities. It's going to require the wireless carriers and anyone who's putting up 5G technology to have access to more spectrum than what's available today. But it's also a very municipal task. You have to go to each city and say, hey, I want to dig up Park Avenue and, and put some fiber in the street and I want to hang some fiber from a lamp pole. So it's a really manual and laborious exercise, but something that in general the communications providers are very bullish about doing over the course of the next 10 years. We also think that eventually over time, the more rural communities will also see a version of this. And so in more rural towns where you don't have big buildings and you don't have mountains and things of that nature, it's actually easier to build a wireless network in that town than it is in New York City. For a lot of the biggest trends in technology that we hear about, edge computing is gonna be a necessity. So there are a lot of use cases for edge computing, some of which are starting to be in use today. For example, in autonomous driving, from all of these exciting technologies that are going to change the world that we live in on a daily basis, I think of edge computing as playing a pivotal role. And in my view, it's not a matter of if that happens, it's just a matter of when. There is a growing sentiment that data is the new oil, which means that it's going to be the place where nation states compete and it'll be something that, you know, the United States has some catch up to do. I think we need to go ahead and provide ubiquitous high-speed broadband across the whole country, make the same commitment that Franklin Roosevelt made in the 1930s with rural electrification. We can do that now. I think there are things that we should be doing during the pandemic where we actually allow existing internet service providers to turn up the power so there's additional relief provided.